Look, if you spend any time on my my YouTube channel, you know I talk about profitability. You talk, I talk about numbers, right? You've probably subscribed and got notified about this weekly tip. Well, this week, I wanna talk about the three financial reports you gotta review every single month. If you wanna make money in your restaurant, and I'm sharing them with you in about two seconds. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters, creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. And I talk about numbers, 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 right? I'm a numbers geek. I'm, I talk about the systems you put in place to make the money you deserve. I talk about getting your life back, putting a management team in place. But here's the deal, that which we measure improves. And the only way to improve is to have measurements in the first place. And there are three financial reports that are a must have to give you every opportunity to make the money you deserve. They are a balance sheet, a profit and loss statement, and a cash flow report. Let's go over each one of those. A balance sheet is stuff who owns the stuff, right? Why do I got to pay attention to that? Well, here's the deal. When you're working with your accountant, make sure they tie out every one of those accounts, right? Do you ever reconcile your personal checking account? Well, they reconcile every one of those balance sheet accounts, assets and liabilities. And when they do so, if they do that on a monthly basis, whatever your profit and loss number is, it is 100% accurate. You may have miscategorized bottle beer into draft beer, but your profit and loss, what you're gonna be responsible to pay taxes on is 100% correct. So are you working with a CPA, an accountant that is tying those books out? If not, you're paying extra money at the end of the year when they do your taxes and then do that same process and bill you all these extra hours. The next piece on that balance sheet is doing your current ratios. It's your current assets divided by your current liabilities. And we're looking for a one to one, really a 1.25 to one ratio. I need to have a dollar 25 in current assets to pay for every dollar in current liabilities. So I've got money and, and product, things that I'm gonna use in the next 12 months for the money I've got to spend in the next 12 months. You're a healthy company. I'll tell you, when I used to be a franchisor and I was turning around a, a failed company, really should have been bankrupt, my ratio was a 0.42 to one. I had 42 cents to every dollar I owed. You wanna know the healthier business, your balance sheet can tell you. How about that profit and loss statement? That, that operating statement, that income statement, the same thing, just labeled differently. Is it accurate? Are you giving your CPA, your bookkeeper, your chart of accounts? Are we splitting it up by category? Food, bottle beer, draft beer, wine, liquor, right? Are they separate? Are we doing cost of goods sold separately and making sure that we're taking our use divided by category sales? So bottle beer use divided by category bottle beer sales to know our actual cost of goods sold. Or are they following gap and giving you a really low cost of goods sold because they're doing it off of total sales? Are we using our report card? The p and is our report card. Did I do a good job running my business? Which means every line item in your chart of accounts needs to be detailed. Every position, servers, bartenders, barbacks, right? Bussers, hosts, cooks, prep cooks, dishwashers. If you're quick serve, do I have lobby people? Do I have drivers? Do I have cashiers all split out? So I can measure. Is every line item on my chart of account something that I told my CPA, my bookkeeper, so that when I look at that number, I know what goes into it? If you don't have good P&L, how do you know wh whether you're operating properly? Last but not least, the most important report is a cash flow report. And I'm not talking about that shitty cash flow report most accounting software gives you. That's rear view mirror tells you how you did the last month, where you started in cash, where you ended. I'm talking about putting together a 52 period cash flow report, starting every single month, reconciling where your checking account is and putting where your accounts payable is, what your target cost goods sold is going to be, where your sales are and so on, and building all these things that when you pay for a credit card bill, that the bills came from the month before, but you're paying that month, that you've got all this detail so that you can see on week 34, because sales are low, you're in your low part of your season, that you're gonna need $7,000 in your bank account that you can operate even if you operate perfectly. Cash flow is incredibly important. What I always ask people, what pays your bills, cash or profits? And the answer is cash. Last time I checked, I can't go to the power company with a case of stakes and go thud, we're even. So if you wanna control your business, 
You've got to know your financial reports. And those three reports are balance sheet, profit and loss statement, and your cash flow. And if you want to learn more about reports, numbers, anything to help you run your business more profitably, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Maybe even like this video. And if you've got kind of questions, comments, anything you want to share, make sure you put it below. Because I look forward to answering those for you every single week.